Hi, my name is Bria Griffiths and I am a self-directed neuroplasticity coach, brain retraining coach, um, and I work with a lot of people who are healing through their relationship with God. And I just wanted to share a quick video today, because I don't have a ton of time, um, about specifically about God being a stronghold. And, you know, a lot of these brain retraining programs that people are doing and how I coach people we are redirecting a lot of our thoughts and our behaviors and our feelings away from programs that have been running for a long time to do with sickness, um, addictions, all kinds of things. And oftentimes people struggle and ask me like, what am I supposed to do when I recognize that I've got one of these things? How do I get out of it? Where do, what do I do? And you know, they've been given advice like, Oh, just think of five things that you're grateful for or, um, you know, count backwards by three from a hundred just to distract. And it goes way deeper than this. We need to have God be our stronghold because when you've got strongholds, they've taken a life of their own. Essentially, it's like this chronic fight or flight loop that now is just running on its own, whether you are consciously adding to it or not. And we need to interrupt and get out of that. And God, the Bible says in two places, First, I'm going to go to Second Samuel 22. This is where David says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, the God of my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge. It's a high tower. It's fortified. It's impenetrable. So when we put our mind on him, the Bible also says, um, I've probably quoted some of these verses before, but basically to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Um, to when well, he who keeps his mind stayed on the Lord is kept in perfect peace. So we're staying on him, not I gotta get a hold of you. It's just more like focus and trust the Lord and the spirit of life through Christ Jesus is gonna continue to guide you as you fix your eyes on Jesus that and his love is unconditional love. That that stronghold is um I mean it's 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 not just growing. He is that stronghold, but it's us just accepting that he is and just grabbing a hold of what we've got. And he's able to tear everything down, all our strongholds, all of our past. Another verse that um, says the same thing about him being a stronghold is Naum 1.7. It says, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. He's always good. And he won't stop with what he's doing in you, even when you can't feel it or see it, until it is good. And health is good. So I don't... I only had a couple minutes. So I just want to do a really quick video to share this because I really think it's important for us to understand anything that magnifies God and just focuses on God and we're just trusting him to guide us in that direction one step at a time. It's the best answer when somebody asks me. <laughs> now I have more specifics that I do with people, but I just want to put lay this down that when we continually just go there, that stronghold, it, we, he grabs a hold and it's a life of its own with God and our relationship with him that draws us out and breaks down, I mean, the prison walls, the yoke of bondage to our past, all of that just breaks in the name of Jesus. Um, it's biblical, it's science as well. It's so cool when we can see how God made us to respond to him and, and we just humble ourselves and trust him to do it and, to, do, and to, to complete it for us as we go. So I pray that this blesses you guys today. Um, ah, so many great things going on with, with um, where the Lord is taking me and my business right now to grow and expand to provide something, a really in-depth um, I guess program or just help for people to learn how to grow in their relationship with their Lord and stand on the word um, and 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 yet to deepen their relationship with the Lord for their healing so they can stand and trust because anybody that's gone through a journey like this knows that it's just not possible to do in your own strength so I pray this blesses you today God bless you and I'll be back soon